Did you know that crystal hearts are good for so much more than just looking pretty? My name is Sheila from Satin Crystals and today you are going to learn how to use gemstone hearts in your everyday healing practice. What does the crystal heart symbolize? Well, that's an easy one because since the beginning of mankind, the crystal heart shape has symbolized love. Now, wherever you're from, whatever language you speak, whatever time period you were from, the heart has always represented love. In metaphysical terms, the crystal heart corresponds to your heart chakra. And this is the very center of your being. The center of your aura is where your life force flows. So the crystal heart is great for opening and balancing your heart chakra to better give and receive love. So crystal hearts equals love, eternal love, unconditional love, uh, affection, romance, friendship, all kinds of lovely feelings. Why should you use crystal hearts in your healing practice? Now the crystal hearts that we are referring to come in all kinds of your favorite healing crystals. So you can find them in your favorite gemstones or whatever crystal you need to work with. They are usually smooth, they are relatively flat for placing, and they have a tip for directing energy like a wand. The crystal hearts can be used in a wide variety of metaphysical practices. I am going to give you a few examples here, and then you can head on over to the How to Use Crystal Hearts article on Satin Crystals and find out even more. Meditating with your crystal hearts. So the crystal heart shape, as I said, is nice and smooth. It is very comfortable to hold in your hand for a long period of time. All you want to do is program your crystal hearts for whatever loving intention you have for your meditation. You hold one in each hand or a large one in both hands and meditate with your hearts. If you're not that great at meditating on your own, you could also find some guided meditations on love energy and the crystal hearts will come in handy perfect for those. Journaling with your crystal hearts is an excellent exercise in self-love. So you can program your crystal heart for whatever intention you desire and so that it reminds you not to judge whatever words and ideas and thoughts are flowing out into your journal from your subconscious mind. You can release the unwanted ones and keep the loving thoughts with you. The heart can be placed uh, next to you on your writing desk as you are journaling and then after you are done, just place your crystal heart on top of your journal for your next writing session. Create a crystal layout with your crystal hearts. So in a crystal layout, you are lying comfortably surrounded by your crystals. You can also place them on your chakras. And as I said, crystal hearts are relatively flat. So unlike crystal balls or crystal eggs, they will stay nice and secure on your chakras. They're also very smooth, so it has a nice cool feeling as well. You can also hold the crystal hearts in your layout. The layout will create a nice comfortable web uh, within for your aura. Now we have a lot more instructions and information on how to create crystal layouts on satin crystals if you are unfamiliar with this healing practice. Place your crystal hearts according to your feng shui bagua map. You can also place them room by room to balance the energies there. We recommend placing crystal hearts in the bedroom if you are looking for loving relationships. You can place one on each bed stand. You can place crystal hearts all over your living room if you're looking for a lot of friendship and healthy relationships in your social sphere. Crystal hearts are not only are they aesthetically pleasing, even for people who don't believe in crystal healing, they will be very attracted to the crystal heart shape in all your different gemstones, but they're also releasing that high vibration of love within your space. Crystal hearts for massage. Now the great thing is you don't have to be a massage practitioner to use your crystal hearts in massage. You can do this for self-massage or even better yet, if you have a partner, you can use the crystal heart. 
So the large, the top parts, the large smooth areas of your crystal heart are great for the large muscles, just stroking the uh, areas of your body. And then the tip, the bottom part, is great for pressing into the acupressure points and releasing the little trigger points and tension that way. An additional bonus, crystals in their natural um, gemstones are already pretty cold, but if you want an additional uh, icy feeling, you can place them in the fridge or in the, in the freezer and they will be even extra cold. You can place them on the body and release tension that way. Relieving anxiety with your crystal hearts. Now you can use crystal hearts like you do worry stones or little fidget spinners where you rub your fingers on the smooth surface of your crystal hearts whenever you're feeling anxious to release that nervous tension and infuse yourself with the crystal's energy. So small hearts like these are very portable. You can have them in your purse and pocket as you go through your day and they'll always be available to you. You can use larger ones at your desk or keep them at your home. So crystal hearts for anxiety release. How do you use the top seven crystal hearts? Now that we have gone over a general idea of how you can use any crystal heart, I'm going to show you our top seven crystal hearts and how you can use them specifically. So first we have selenite. Selenite is an excellent stone for sealing your aura. So selenite is excellent if you are going through a heartbreak because your energy is leaking out and you want to preserve it. You want to keep your energies within your auric fields. Use selenite, scan your body, hold on to the crystal, meditate, whatever kind of practice you like, but make sure that you're enhancing your aura, making sure that there is no energy leaks and you are keeping yourself safe from additional trauma. So selenite hearts is great for sealing the aura. Amethyst hearts can be used for spiritual love. So when you feel like you're lost, when you've lost that connection to your higher self, use amethyst to reconnect this bond. Amethyst helps you get into that meditative state. It raises your vibrations. It is great for the third eye chakra and the crown chakra, your higher chakras, to help connect you to the bigger picture so you're not stuck in the mundane details of everyday life. You can see that there is life beyond the daily grind. So amethyst hearts are great for this kind of uplifting energy. You can, again, you can meditate with them, you can place them on your chakras, and you can even have a restful sleep, relaxation, having them by your bedside. Amethyst is great for anything to do with sleep as well. Use quartz hearts for enhancing love energy. Now quartz is known as an amplifying crystal, and in the heart shape, it is known for amplifying your love energies. If you have any confusion in the love department, place a clear quartz heart at your third eye chakra. This will help to clear out any confusion. And then you can place any type of quartz on your heart chakra. And this will act kind of like a megaphone, amplifying and broadcasting your loving intentions for whatever you want to manifest in love. Rhodonite hearts for bonded soulmates. Now foremost, rhodonite is all about self-love. So use rhodonite hearts to truly love yourself because after that, everyone else will come. Rhodonite is also an attractor of soulmates. So whether this is platonic or romantic, all the people who come into your life, who teach you lessons, these are your soulmates. The soulmates may come and go, but the important thing is that you learn your lessons quickly so that you can get to the point where you can just relax and enjoy your friendship, the company, the love in your life without having to worry about anything else. Moonstone hearts for feminine divine. Now choose moonstone hearts when you are working on your feminine energy. Now regardless of your sex, we all have female and male energies, yin and yang, and we want to have them balanced at all times. 
Moonstone specifically works with that yin feminine energy. It connects with the moon goddess with energies of wisdom, of patience, of understanding. Moonstone is especially great to use during any lunar event. So new moon, uh, full moon, lunar eclipse, Moonstone is great for these. So make sure to have a Moonstone heart nearby and connect with that feminine energy. Angelite hearts for angelic notions. So angelite connects you straight with the angelic realm. It is a very peaceful, serene stone. Keep them nearby if you're feeling anxious or restless to help you breathe, let go, let go of any expectations and just enjoy the present moment living harmoniously with the world around you. So we mentioned before that you can use your crystal hearts as worry stones to relieve, relieve any anxiety. These angelite hearts are perfect for that occasion. Have them nearby whenever you need a break from reality. Just have yourself lifted off into the angelic realm with angelite. Rose quartz hearts for unconditional love. Now when you first think of love crystal, rose quartz is probably the first one that comes to mind. Rose quartz hearts are the perfect shape as these pink quartz are synonymous with sweet joy, affection, love, romance. They are great for working and opening your heart chakra. So we have a lot of practices on how to open and balance your heart chakra to better give and receive love energy. Rose quartz hearts are perfect for these exercises. They are also the one to gift if you want to express your unconditional love to somebody else. Why should you gift crystal hearts? Now, crystal hearts are the ultimate symbol of love. If you gift a crystal heart, it means that you want to maintain a relationship. You want to enhance a relationship. Maybe you want to mend a relationship. Crystal hearts are great when you want to show somebody that you are in love, that you love them, that you want to say thank you to. Maybe you want to say sorry to. Maybe somebody is grieving and you want to give them a crystal heart. Now this is an important one because when somebody is grieving, when they're growing, going through something traumatic, there's usually nothing we can say that is going to make it better. So gifting them a crystal heart, you don't have to say anything at all. No words are necessary. That is a symbol of love, that you are there for them, that you are there to support them. Now you can gift crystal hearts to your partner, you can gift crystal hearts to a friend who is far away. If you have a group of friends or maybe your relatives, you want to gift them matching crystal hearts so that whenever they look and gaze upon their crystal heart, they think of you and you will think of them. Besides looking beautiful, those are some of the ways that you can use your crystal hearts in your healing practice. If you have additional ideas, we would love to hear them. So make sure to write below and share with us. If you need crystal hearts, we have a whole selection of natural gemstone hearts at Satin Crystals. Make sure to head on over there. You can see the whole heart collection. And while you're there, make sure to join the VIP club because we send out crystal healing information every single week. Do like and subscribe to our videos so we can continue bringing you crystal videos throughout the year. As always, thank you for your positive energy at Satin Crystals. And thank you for spreading your love into our worlds.